So as always, what is always so fun about technology is there's errors, and this is happening a lot, and it's starting to make me very upset. Uh, but we played. I'll take a look here. We played the games three and f I just played the games three and four against Pittsburgh. One three two one three one. We swept the Pittsburgh Penguins, um, and then I realized that the for some reason the entire video is covered with green. I don't know why. Uh, clearly some sort of error there, but. What I'm going to do right now is just let you guys know that, yes, we won. Uh, we won against Pittsburgh. We swept them. I wish I had a full episode to show you guys. Um, unfortunately, this keeps happening, so I don't know why, but there's been issues every time. As of late, there's been more and more issues, so hopefully this stops happening and I can get it figured out. So we swept Pittsburgh. We put the Claire in for Game 4 to let Podvan rest. Um... And now I will go ahead and just show you guys. So, of course, you guys can see we have a matchup with the Florida Panthers in round two. But I want to show you guys the playoff tree heading into game, um, into the second round. So, the second round, uh, Detroit beat out Phoenix. So, the one seed moves through. De uh, Dallas takes out Columbus. So, the fourth seed moves through. Or, the second seed moves through. Colorado over Vancouver. So, the third seed moves through. And the interesting series in the West here was the 4-5 and five seed because Anaheim was actually up 3-0. Uh, Chicago came back and won four consecutive games to get themselves through to the second round to play Detroit. It would have been an interesting rematch, actually, because Anaheim, if they had gone through, they would have played Detroit as well. And they had just swept Detroit the year prior when they went to the Stanley Cup Finals against New Jersey. So this leaves us with a second-round matchup in the Western Conference of Detroit-Chicago and Dallas-Colorado. Again, my prediction of Dallas, or sorry, my prediction of Detroit and Colorado in the conference finals is looking pretty accurate right now. And on the Eastern Conference side of things, we of course swept the Pittsburgh Penguins. Tampa battled back. They were down 2-1 in the series. Uh, battled back to beat Atlanta 4-3. Florida beat Boston in what is the biggest upset so far. And Toronto beat Washington in their series. This leaves us, of course, with a 1 vs. 6 matchup ourselves, the Philadelphia Flyers against the Florida Panthers. And on the other side, Tampa Bay and Toronto. So Toronto gets through just like they did in real life this season after they beat Ottawa. Uh, but a very interesting matchup in the second round there is Tampa. That's the team we don't want to face. I can tell you that much. We do not want to face Javi Boulin and Le Cavalier and Say Louis and Richards and Dan Boyle and everybody on that team. Because they're damn good. They are a damn good hockey team. They won the cup this season um, in real life. So you know they're the best team in hockey right there. So anyways, guys, I'm sorry I couldn't get the whole episode up. Just errors, errors, errors. So um, hopefully, you know, hopefully this this one works out and we don't have any issues the rest of the way. Uh, but there's definitely reasons why I'm looking to get moving forward on other series just because of the errors I've had specifically with Angel 2004. But, uh, yeah. So we're through. Round 2 will be coming your way very shortly on YouTube. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so the videos come to you guys as soon as they upload. Welcome back to the NHL 2004 Franchise Mode series on After the Storm. A quick recap of last episode. If you guys saw it, I threw it in right at the end. Uh, I combined the two episodes just because I had the air, but uh, just recapping very quickly, uh, we swept the Pittsburgh Penguins in four games. We had lots of time for uh, Pot Van. He ended up sitting out game number four. LeClaire played it, uh, and we won. He had lots of time to sit, and uh, he was fatigued, so he's he's well rested now. We don't have Al McKinnis back uh, yet. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Definitely the one fatal flaw with this game, I think, is having injuries and just having no way of telling when those players are coming back. But nevertheless, we're here. Second round, we're going to play the Florida Panthers, who upset the Boston Bruins in the first round. Uh, I'm going to take us to the playoff tree, and we'll just take a look at uh, the uh, remaining teams in the playoffs. So over in the Western Conference, we've got Detroit-Chicago in the second round, along with Dallas and Colorado. And on the Eastern Conference side, Philadelphia-Florida and Tampa Bay, Toronto. So the actual Eastern Conference Finals this season uh, was the Bolts and the Flyers. In the West, I want to say it was the Flames and the Sharks. 
don't even think it was San Jose made the final or the playoffs in this. Did they? Yeah, I want to say it was the Flames and the Sharks. Flames went through Vancouver, Detroit, and then San Jose, I believe, in this series to get to the finals. So, yeah, I believe it was uh, the Sharks and the Flames, so two teams that did not even make the playoffs. So, of course, we're going to have a brand-new Western Conference champion. Yeah, because Anaheim's eliminated, too, so de definitely a brand-new Western Conference champion. Uh, but we're going to keep an eye on the series as we go along here. So we're not going to wait around any longer. We're going to get into game number one against the Florida Panthers with a well-rested Felix Pot fan for the first time in probably about four or five episodes. All right, so here we go. So um, we haven't played Florida in a really long time, actually. It's been a while, probably since the midpoint of the season. But uh, we know they're a decent team. This is going to be a lot tougher than the Pittsburgh series by far. Jason Arnott is one of the leading uh point scorers in the NHL right now and they do have Luongo in net so this is going to be a tough matchup oh my goodness Sean Avery I believe that is two huge blocks on that play it's the end of the first on a pretty back and forth period I don't think Podvin faced many shots but uh, this this Florida team is certainly better there's a lot of star power. I think they've got two, like basically two hero lines on this team. So they're uh, they're pretty well built. So the end of the second, still a zero-zero game. This is a this is a goaltending duel at this point. And Luongo's been good. Pop has been good as well. This is a it's a really close game. Who? Yeah, this is going to be a tough, tough final couple of minutes here. It's a good, good goal there, but yeah, that one's tough. Now we got to get back into this one. Luongo, it's been so good. Oh my god, another one. And oof. So there goes game one. Kind of got like faked out on that one. Yeah. That's tough. We got a problem ahead of us. Oh man. Oh, maybe. All the hooks. So we 2 nothing loss at the end of game one. A tough one there, but man, the Wongo was the difference. He it was phenomenal in that game. Potvin was fine. Uh, the first one, obviously, I can't blame him for, but the second one uh, is definitely a goal we'd like to have back. But. A very good team here. We're, that's what we're realizing very quickly. A very, very good Florida Panthers team. So I recapped this a little bit on the previous episode, but uh, a big thing, a, a big uh, thing that we didn't have in the first series against Pittsburgh, but are going to have in this series is the practices are back. Uh, they're kind of auto set during the season, but I manually set them. So medium is always like a plus one or plus two attribute boost. I think that's what we want. We don't want to ruin our endurance. We don't want to uh, ruin our morale at all. So what we're going to be doing is uh, really just having the guys work pretty hard uh, just with a nice medium practice in between these game days to keep the overalls up, uh, which will hopefully pay dividends as we go a little further along in the series here. Anyways, taking a look around the league. On the Western Conference, Chicago takes game number one from Detroit. Didn't expect that. Dallas takes game number one from Colorado. So my prediction of Colorado-Detroit in the conference final, not looking too hot to start. On the Eastern side, though, uh, we're down one nothing to Florida, and Tampa beats Toronto in game one. So Tampa and Florida, maybe a South Florida matchup. Anyways, we're going to go back in. We're, I'm going to keep checking the lines uh, before just to see if McKinnis comes back. Uh I really don't know when he'll be back, but uh, he would be a big, big help in this series especially. But uh, I'm going to go check that, and if he's not back in, we'll just start up the game. So look at this. Al McKinnis is ready to come back. He's still a little bit injured, but this is playoffs, so we're going to bring him in. We don't really have any other choice. We're going to definitely need one of our top two defensemen back in the lineup, uh, and he's ready to go. So it's going to be tough, but uh, he'll, he's back in. So here we go. Game number two against Florida. Shutout in game number one. We definitely want to get back in the win column here. Oh, tough start in game number two as well. Man. 
but he found it on that shot. Nice goal indeed. It's the rebound. It's a, not a great start in game number two, considering how game number one went. To the end of the first, one nothing Florida. We haven't scored in four periods now against the Panthers, so this is starting to become a little bit worrisome, but uh, we're going to keep working and hopefully get one here. We definitely need some more offense in this one. It's been very Florida heavy uh, for the first period. Oh my god, another big stop by Luongo. Oh, Donald Brashear. We got a tie game. I was just thinking about Brashear coming out of the lineup <laughs> in this one just because we probably didn't need the physical aspects as much, but man, if he's going to put in a goal, he's going to stand in the lineup. To the end of the second, we finally solved the Roberto Luongo puzzle. Now we just got to win 20 minutes, get this split, and uh, get on the road to Florida. Oh, what a stop by Potvin. Oh my goodness. So we're entering the final few minutes of the game here at 1-1 score. Oh man. That, uh, that save again, that Podvan made there, just the difference right now. He's played very well. Oh, that one almost found its way through. Mederost, our old friend from Colorado. With a snipe there, and that is unfortunate. Very reminiscent of game number one. Oh, good chance there. Another one. Oh, my God. The pressure. Pressure that line just put on, and that might be a new first line because his first line has not been very useful so far to start the series. So I might be moving Kapanen up. If they're going to play like that, yeah, Kapanen might be getting moved up. So that was a real good shift. The tie game, thought that goal might be a dagger. 41 seconds to go. I'm going to take a timeout, get ourselves rested up for this play right here, and hopefully we can... Uh, Manage a face-off win and get some pressure. Pronger in. Oh, good stop. Stop by Pod Van there. Last second opportunity. Oh. And we got a key draw here. 4.9 seconds to go. Big saves by Podvan right there. And we're going to head to OT in game number two. Uh, the same thing happened with Pittsburgh. Game number two was also an overtime one. But this is, uh, is going to be huge. This is to get a split in this series because we desperately need it right now. So let's go with overtime. Huge save there by Podvan. Back the other way. Fifth of the playoffs. We get our way back into this down one nothing down two one and get into overtime and win this one. Huge effort from the guys. Pot Van the first star, thirty one of thirty three saves. Kachuk gets the OT winner, and Donald Brashear gets our first playoff goal of the series, I should say. And uh, yeah, we split it on the way back to Florida. So just a huge, huge game there. Just a huge game. It really was. Um, to get back into that one, absolutely needed it. Take a look at the injuries down here at the bottom. Forsberg out five weeks with elbow surgery. I'm guessing maybe Colorado's run's going to end there. But, uh, yeah, this is a uh, – that was a good game. We really worked for it and we got back. Uh, so right now I'm going to go take a look at the playoff tree. Uh, and I'm going to go edit lines, but I'll show you guys the – Lines in the next episode. As we go and take a look at the playoff tree here, Detroit evens up their series with Chicago. Dallas takes a stranglehold 2-0 lead on Colorado. And as you guys saw, 
Uh, Peter Forsberg out five weeks, so there's a major star missing for Colorado. Now on the eastern side, it is all tied up. Toronto came back, won game number two, tying their series with Tampa Bay. And, of course, we won 3-2 in overtime uh, over Florida. So, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of round number two. As always, if you haven't liked the video down below, give it a thumbs up now. While you're down there, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get these episodes right when they come out. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one.